What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ back with another Destiny video and in today's Destiny video we're going to talk about the Vex Mytho class, how it feels after nerf, after the 1.0.2.2 hotfix where Bungie and Destiny tried to ruin this weapon. Now if you guys would have seen my video, I posted an actual review of the whole hotfix and stated everything about the hotfix, you guys would have seen in that video basically me crying about how they patched this weapon how they nerfed it, how they made it more standard. Um, if you guys missed that video, I'll link it at the top of the video description. I take back everything I said in that video about Bungie patching this weapon because the weapon is still overpowered. It is still overpowered in P versus P and it deserves to be. Don't get it twisted, it isn't as overpowered as it used to be. Before this actual nerf, this weapon was ridiculously insane. My first time or second time using it online, I went on a 16 or 17 kill streak off the bat, terrorizing everybody who ran at me. Even when I had about, about a centimeter of red health, I was still dropping people in a few bullets. It's overpowered, that was overpowered, and it did deserve to be nerfed. But they nerfed it to the point where they stated in the hotfix that it was minus 34% damage and me straight away jumping to conclusions thinking that they've ruined the weapon before I actually tried it out in P versus P uh, but now I've tried it out and the gameplay footage in the background now is me using this weapon after nerf the weapon is still slightly overpowered and it deserves to be and here's why this weapon is only rewarded for people who complete the raid who beat Atheon on hard mode yes there is a glitch where you can make him fall off and you guys will know I actually used this glitch and I was rewarded with this weapon twice in 10 minutes on two separate accounts if you guys didn't see that video that's also on my channel too so you can check that out I was rewarded with this weapon twice in 10 minutes and don't get it twisted um, it ain't me I feel sorry for it's the people who did this legitly who spent tireless hours doing this legitly some people even spent days trying to do this actual uh, last boss and getting this weapon they are the people I felt more sorry for when I was talking about uh, Bungie being a basically a bunch of bastards when they they patched this weapon in that 1.0.2.2 video I posted a couple of days back but I take all of that back Bungie did the right thing this weapon still has that feel of being slightly overpowered it still has that reward feeling of you actually having this weapon which is what it needs to have because like I've said you can only get this weapon by beating Atheon the last boss on hard mode in the bottle glass raid eventually they will patch the glitch where he falls off and you won't be able to use it anymore um, and then a lot of people will have to do it legitly and this weapon needs that reward it needs that feeling of being slightly overpowered for people to even be bothered about it and it does it still has that slightly overpowered feeling don't get it wrong you will lose a lot of gunfights with this weapon now to the Seuss regime and the shadow price they are the main two weapons I always lose gunfights uh, to over a certain range but up close this weapon is still an absolute tank and you guys will see in this video me absolutely terrorizing people online now like I said I take back all of what I said in that 1.0.2.2 hotfix patch video I posted a few days back where I talked about Bungie being idiots for patching this weapon and nerfing this weapon it should be overpowered I take all of that back the weapon is still overpowered um, but it's not overpowered to the extreme it is a good overpowered it's the right overpowered and Bungie did the right thing so guys if you were thinking about getting this weapon uh, if you're thinking about going through the raid on hard it is still worth it in my opinion just for how unique this weapon is but it isn't quite as beast as it once was so don't expect if you're watching all the gameplays and you're seeing people absolutely terrorize people you ain't gonna get that weapon now one thing I will say Bungie did wrong was patching this nerfing this in P versus E they shouldn't have done that they should have left it the way it was in P versus E and just patched it for P versus P I can understand the patch for P versus P because a lot of people will be complaining about it but nobody nobody will be complaining about this in P versus E apart from Vex and Hive I mean really really <laughs> that's what I'm saying it sh they should have left it for P versus E it should have been still a base for that but at the end of the day, Bungie are Bungie and they will do what they feel is best and you can't, you can't, you can't argue with them because they're Bungie at the end of the day. But guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Do drop a like, I do appreciate the support. If you guys are new to my channel, make sure you subscribe for daily Destiny content. Thanks as always though for watching and peace out till next time. Peace!